Josh Wyatt from Whitley Bay, he wants to make films. We've spoken to him before. He's still at school. He's already making his own films with his mates. And I spoke to him earlier and asked him what his latest drama is about. We've now produced a four-part drama, and this is due for release in winter this year. And um, it's about two young children who run away from home and it's sort of their journey on uh, like why they've left home and they meet these people who live on the streets and it's all about them meeting them and one of them gets kidnapped and um, it's all like the big adventure journey at the end to try and uh, track down. You say release, where's it going to be released? Um, well, we're hoping to, as we have done with all the other films, we're hoping to release it in uh, film festivals, but we're also hoping to have a red carpet premiere. Uh, we're hoping to have a limousine and things like that. Your name is... Ellen Curry. I'm 16. Ellen, where did you get the idea for the story? I've been writing ever since I was little, and when Ross said he wanted to make a film, I looked at lots of like ideas I'd had from stories when I was little on my computer, and one of them was actually the idea for Streetlight. And I thought, oh, this might make a good film, so I just decided to go with that and expand that. And how did you expand it, and what's the main character? Um, the main character is a girl called Charlotte and her friend called Alice, and it was originally meant to be a boy and a girl, but we felt that we had better equipped actors for two girls and so we just expanded it to make it suitable for people who we had available to film and expand characters to their acting and their, the way they look i'll put the actress on it's emily grant hello hello emily have you done any acting before um i've been in a few shows before but never really on film okay and and what's uh, the whole process like it's really fun ross will like arrange a day when we all meet up and we'll just get the script and learn our lines and then start filming. So how long do you have to learn your lines? It depends, really. Sometimes only a few days, sometimes, um, like, almost a week. And what do they tell you about costumes? What do you have to wear? Usually I always wear the same costume, and it's just meant to look quite plain and simple. How, how are you funding all this, if there is any funding to be done? Yeah, we, um, we've actually got O2 funding involved, um, and they've given us £300 already, and we've spent that on a glide cam, which is, uh, makes the shots a bit more smoother and makes us, uh, like, lets us have more professional shots and things. Um, and then we're hoping to get some more funding off them as well, uh, because they've, like, if we've completed this step of the funding, and they can see that we've used the funding well in the first stage, then they give us some more. And, and what will you do that? Buy equipment? Yeah, we might buy equipment. We'll buy some more props. Um, we've got some uh, makeup that we need to buy. So different things like that, yeah. Have you had any advice from professional filmmakers or have you been teaching yourself everything as you go along? Um, well, it's pretty much just ourselves. You know, that's the unique thing about us when we don't really include that many adults or professionals. Um, but the things that we produce look really, really excellent, I would say. What's the biggest challenge apart from cash? Probably trying to arrange the cast because obviously a lot of the cast are busy. Um, so it's all about when the cast are free and when every member of the cast is free and when they can get along to shoot. Some of it must involve adults because you must have to get permissions to film play. We've filmed at the George Stevenson Railway Museum, and that's uh, through a mutual friend who's managed to get up in there. And um, we've filmed in a few cafes, which our friends, have, which our friends' mothers or fathers own. But we have some adults involved because obviously it wouldn't be as realistic if we didn't have any adults in it, like playing the parents of the child, child actors, or like. Or teachers as well from the school. How are you going to be letting people see the film when it's done then? How are you going to publicise it? Um, well, we're actually raising awareness for the Railway Children, which is a charity for homeless children. So they have agreed to post the episodes on their website. So we're hoping to get people to see it through there. We're also going to probably rent it online, selling DVDs. Obviously, there's Premiere, who we're hoping to invite people. Uh, but we've also got a great interest across Facebook and Twitter, which has helped us to uh, gain more interest. We're going to be speaking to an associate producer. Anything you'd like to ask him? Yes, how you made it. <laughs> Ross Wyatt, a teenager from Whitley Bay who's dreaming of being big in film and TV one day, and his friends, Emily Grant and Emma Curran. Um... At that rate, I think he's probably got quite a good chance. He's so passionate about it. What advice?